Dave, earlier today we saw the news that Alex Vestia has been brought back up and Gavin Stone was optioned. So first starting with Alex, what have you been seeing from him? What not only just gives you the confidence, but also gives us the confidence that he is ready to take that? Well, um, he, he's, only, he's been throwing the baseball really well there. Um, I think just to kind of get him, get him out of this environment to um, kind of get back to his mechanics and be Alex and throw the baseball the way he's capable of and to his credit that's what he did um, so he's ready to go and uh, very anxious. What's the biggest difference you've seen in kind of his more recent outings and getting the results that you guys wanted to have? I think the, the fastball velocity. Um, he's getting swing and miss with the fastball. Uh, his slider's been better. His change has been better where uh, early in the season uh, the fastball command wasn't there. He's working behind a lot and the secondary pitches just weren't uh, as, effective, uh, as effective as they have then and right now I think his pitch mix is uh, right where he needs to be. And then for Gavin Stone, what do you want to see him, whether it's working on or just building that confidence while he is down at the level? Yeah, you know, Gavin, it was, you know, I, I still stand by, it was a good opportunity for him, good experience, um, just to kind of go down there and uh, work on commanding the fastball. I think that in the minor leagues, you have a lot more margin uh, for mistakes and get away with them. And also just being able, when he does get two strikes, to be able to put hitters away with the breaking ball or that change up. What were your conversations with him the last couple of days? It was just more of just kind of uh, lauding him for um, the way he's managed some, some struggles and how he continued to go out there and compete. Uh, he was filling up the strike zone like his last start. The stuff was good, didn't walk any guys, uh, but like I said, couldn't put any hitters away. Um, so I think that's part of it, and just understanding that there's a learning curve for everyone. Where was this here? Was the plan for Saturday? Potentially, yeah. You know, um, it's not set in stone, but you know, uh, Bobby's going to make that start on Sunday. So to see Michael make that start Saturday makes a lot of sense. Where was Gavin's confidence in line? Just considering the lineups kind of face those first three starts. Uh, given who he faced, very good. Um, I think as a competitor, you never want to get it handed to you. Um, but I, I do think that with Gavin's kind of toughness, uh, he'll take from it and know that uh, he'll be ready uh, when he gets back up here. Will you see Hudson today? Yeah, Hud how do you feel about 30 pitches? Uh, used his entire pitch mix. He was really good. Um, I don't know what's next. Um, obviously, he'll be with us through tomorrow. He'll head back to Arizona, but uh, I'm trying to temper my excitement until I start seeing him facing some hitters. I was going to ask you, like, do you have to temper? You do, you do, because I, I know he wants to get back with us. Um, he, he still feels it in his knee. I think today he came out of it really well, but again, you know, once he goes out on rehab and then just the back-to-back -back and pitching and competition, then I'll really get excited. And there's still a question in your mind that if and when he does go on rehab that he's going to be able to manage the pain well enough that he could be back here? I, I think that's our hope. Um, is it going to be perfectly 100%? I, I don't know that, but I think we're resolved to there might be some uncomfortableness, but as long as we know that he can pitch through it and it's not going to get worse, I think we feel good about it. What kind of addition would he be if you could get him back? Man, it'd be huge. Um, it's just a guy that's neutral, gets lefties out, gets righties out. Uh, he's pitched, he's made the last pitch in a World Series game. Um, so to have him, that veteran presence, that calmness, uh, it, it'll, it would be, it's going to be a big boost. Did you see Julio as well? I did. Um, Julio threw 15 pitches. It was more of kind of just a touch and feel. I think that the plan is on Saturday. He'll get out here and throw uh, on, the, on the mound. And then after that, then it'll pro probably be two or three days after that. And uh, he'll face, uh, do like a simulated three inning situation. Would he, has he missed enough time to require a rehab assignment or would he no, be able to I, I think that we could do that, um, set up a simulated game, whether it's three innings or four innings, and then uh, if that goes well, then we can plug him back in the so uh, rotation. That would be in Philly then, probably? Um, most likely. Going back to Vesia, he was saying that he could lock it in for like one batter and then lose it the next. Were you seeing that? How frustrating was it for you? Not really knowing what he would necessarily give you on a given night. You know, Alex won't admit this, or he might have. I do think that the uh, the pitch clock uh, got to him a little bit. He's a very 
methodical, takes his time in between pitches, and you know, when guys get on base, it's 20 seconds, 15 seconds without guys on base, and I do feel that he felt a little sped up, which kind of played into his kind of rhythm in, in between pitches, so um, yeah, getting back away from this, uh, being able to kind of get used to it, I think uh, he's in a much better spot now. Is that something he's talked about or something you just noticed? We might have had a little conversation about it, but I think it's just more of, again, he's not making the excuse. I'm basically telling you, you know, what I see. Dave, uh, originally with Dustin out, it seemed like maybe Gavin was going to be lined up to be your longer term with him gone. Is there like an opportunity for Bobby to kind of be that guy who sticks in that spot? Is his Grove in that conversation? I, I think it's, it's both of them. I, I think that, um, you know, we're still trying to win games. Uh, you still want to, you know, give guys runway and opportunities. But um, I think right now, you know, the way Bobby's throwing, we're going to keep running them out there. Um, and, you know, it's about the opportunity to season opportunities. And um, But like I said, I expect Gavin to be back here. Uh, Michael's done it for us time and time again. So I'm excited for him um, when he makes the start. With Bobby, the fact that his next start will be a nationally televised game Sunday night here against the Yankees, probably a full house. Would you give that assignment to just anybody in their third major league start, even if the numbers were there on paper? Um, I, I think there are certain ideal spots for guys. Um, maybe not as idyllic for a guy who's making his third start, but um, it's where we're at, and uh, we feel confident that he can handle it. And um, I just look at it as an opportunity for him to pitch against a uh, you know great ball club, a great franchise at home. It seems like some of, like the finer points of Bobby's development, like the, the pitch sequencing, stuff like that, has kind of taken a tick up ever since he got called up. Has that surprised you, or is that just sort of a byproduct of like you guys have maybe you play some of the game planning stuff a little bit more heavily here? I think it's a little byproduct of the game planning. I think in the minor leagues, um, you're still trying to compete, but. Uh, I guess it's one of those if something's working and you're and you're throwing well, there's no reason to introduce something else that you might not be as comfortable with. But here, um, you've got to be able to do that. And I think that I give him a lot of credit to buy into that. And it's more speaking to uh, the curveball, the slider, the changeup, because he's got five pitches with the two fastballs.